Our First President, George Washington, by John Furr. Presented February 18, 2013. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732, in Westmoreland, Virginia, and died on December 14, 1799, at his home in Mount Vernon, Virginia, at the age of 67. His father was Augustine Washington, and his mother was Mary Ball Washington. His birthplace home is pictured here. Washington grew up on a farm with six siblings. He was educated locally and never got to go to England for his education, as did his older siblings. He joined the Royal Navy briefly, but dropped out at the request of his mother. He took a job as a land surveyor, which paid well. He was eventually appointed as the major of the Virginia militia in February 1753 and served in the French and Indian War. Following the war, Washington married wealthy widow Martha Dandridge Custis. On January 6, 1759, they did not have any children from their marriage, but Washington did help raise Martha's two surviving children from her first marriage, John Park, Jackie Custis, and Martha Park, Patsy Custis. After marrying Martha, Washington came, became one of the wealthiest men in Virginia. He received even more land as a bounty for serving in the French and Indian War. Washington then continued to become very successful in both planting and Virginia, Virginia society. George started to take an interest in politics and was selected as a delegate to both the First and Second Continental Congress. After the American Revolutionary War began, Congress created the Continental Army on June 14, 1775. John Adams of Massachusetts nominated Washington to be General and Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Washington recruited many good officers to the Continental Army and worked at training the officers and troops. Even bringing in military leaders from Europe, that, but they still were not as well trained as the British Army. Washington lost many of his battles, but never surrendered his army during the war. He did, however, turn to be a clever tactical leader, winning some major victories in Boston, Saratoga, and Yorktown. After the Treaty of Paris was signed on September 3, 1783, ending the American Revolutionary War, Washington retired back to his Mount Vernon home. That retirement was short, though, when he was sent to the Constitutional Convention of 1787 in Philadelphia. There he was elected president of the convention. Washington was elected as the first president under the new constitution in 1789 and was re-elected in 1792. Notable men who served while Washington was president include Thomas Jefferson as Secretary of State, Alexander Hamilton, as Secretary of Treasury, John Adams as Vice President, and John Jay as Ambassador. Notable events during Washington's presidency include the Whiskey Rebellion, the signing of Jay's Treaty, the establishment of both the National Bank and the first U.S. Mint. In March 1797, after serving two terms as U.S. President, Washington retired to Mount Vernon. He got sick on December 12, 1799, after inspecting his plantation in snow and freezing grain. He died two days later at his home on Saturday, December 14th, at the age of 67.